finally here in a winery tour. I am so excited, di ba? Let's try ang lahat ng mga alak na meron dito sa talapas. Okay natin. So here in a winery. Ayan, pasok tayo. So we're finally arrived here in Winery area here in in Kakete. Yeah, behind me there's a wine tree. Kabog. Thank you. So this is the Chacha traditional wine here in Chacha. Don't drink it straight away, okay? Let's wait for it. Welcome at first. This is our house. Beautiful house. Thank you. Thank you. In 2018, because our company production, we decided to just use it as a summer house and we decided to create it for the wine shop and the restaurant. So now you are one of the thousands of the guests that work that work here, and I'll show you all the writings and the signings by our guests. Inside the, inside the room after. Yeah, it's also all right there. All the guests signed there in the wall. And we'd like to welcome you also. And this is our homemade chaka, which is 50% of alcohol. Made here. We Georgians don't say salut, don't say goodbyes, no cheers when we're drinking together. We say gau. No. But everyone tries to say it, but no one is it because it's most of the words are hard to pronounce. It's gau marjos. Gau marjos. That's the cheers for them. Okay. Now we're gonna try this local drinks here in Georgia. This is we don't have lime and salt here for combination with the strong drinks. This is John Jolie, marinated uh, flowers of acacia, and it's pickles. It has sour, sour flavor. Mm -hmm. And this is the simple bread that we call Tony's bread. Okay, let's do it. Remember what to say? Just, Just yeah. yeah. Just. Okay. Okay. Just. Okay. After that, we can drink as the shot. Just. Gauman! Just. 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 So strong. Hoo hoo hoo, so strong. That's so good to try. So, what's the difference between the European system of winemaking, for example, and Georgian system of winemaking? When we crush the grapes, uh, different from Europeans, we're using also the letters of the grapes with the wine. For example, most of the countries of Europe, they're using just the juice. Yeah? We mix everything together, the leftovers and the wine, the juice, which is not wine at that time. And everything goes together in a clay jars that I will show you after. That is the most traditional way of winemaking in Georgia. After two months, that is closed hermetically, so there's no contact with the air. We open this clay jars up, we take this leftovers out, and use it for chacha. So it's one round, over 80 kilos of the leftovers. And in every house, there's a different way of chacha making. For example, difference of our chacha and the local chacha is that we're also using wine with the distillation process. So over 50 liters of wine at that time, close it dramatically with the cream that we use for this bread until it's baked so you don't lose any of the steam, so you don't lose any of the drop of cha-cha. And this, this hot steam starts coming through this tube which we also close dramatically and it enters cold circulating water here. This is not cha-cha, eh? this is water. <laughs> when, when the steam enters the cold, cold water, it becomes into the liquid once again. So mm -hmm. it's a condensation process. And if you want to have one more shot, just tell me. Well, don't take it from here. Okay? <laughs> I've, I've seen people when we had 40, 30 people and you can't concentrate on all of the group members. People standing here would take it. From here. <laughs> yeah. so That's funny. Some cha -cha, let's try a couple of interesting wines at first and then we can come back. <laughs> wow, this the looks this this wine room is so cool. So all the guests are visiting here, they put the right to some Message here, some sign, diva. As a souvenir. So this is the most countries visited here. So some flag is there. Yeah. And of course, we we will not miss this opportunity. So I also make my own sign here. Mosh love Georgia, love it. So when you visit here in Georgia and visit this tour in Kakheti for a winery tour, of course you can also just check my sign here on one of the wall here in Kakheti. In this winery tour, of course, they're also selling different wines, drinks also here inside. Bye. 
food. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the drives, then, and then let's switch to the semi sweets and. The best part was so, tasty. Uh, I'll tell you some stories plus, so it's not just be drinking memories what you take back. Home, yeah? <laughs> okay. So do you know where we are right now? So what's the name of the region in Georgia? Of course, yeah, the name of the region. Kaketia. Yeah. So if you take a look at the map, where do you think we are? East, the brown. This Light. This is Kaketia. This, this is Kaketia. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, biggest region in Georgia, where we produce 60-65% of commercial and the homemade wine maker. I don't like it that much. <laughs> so what's the difference of... All the truths are neutral flavors. If you don't reserve it more than 24 months, it doesn't have the intense flavors of that. Mm. Um, so, so nine months in the clay doesn't really give a really strong aroma of the clay. So clay, clay aromas is mostly groundy flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is simple fruity. So we're gonna first try a dry wine first. Yeah, just two months with the leftovers. Mm -hmm. Our first wine to try today. Mmm, so excited. <laughs> really light white drug, which is the lowest percentage of alcohol, 11. And the main reason why we make this wine is to consume it mm -mm, one of the one sip, for example. Wow. And with the things like this, I like this one. and this you are without the labels, because it's our homemade wine, which you're only able to find here. So all the others is already commercial side of our production, which you're already which you are also able to find in Tbilisi. Let's try Red Dry now. This is also our homemade. This is also made in clay for 9 months. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is 12.5% of alcohol. Wow. 12. 12. 12. 12. I think this is what we just had. We had with our lunch. This one? I think so. Saperami. Was it Saperami? Uh, this is Saperami. No, no problem. Yes. When we're changing to the semi-sweets, we can just... Uh, Ah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, slowly getting more higher and higher. <laughs> Thank you so much. From the same source of the grape as the previous one and the bottle before that. So also remember the name maybe? Saperavi. Saperavi. It's also Saperavi here, but growing in a different village. So it's named after that village. Okay. This is red semi-sweet variety of Saperavi, but already 11% yeah. <laughs> All of the sweetness that you're going to feel yeah, here try is natural yeah. sweetness. No, of course. It's using a sweet wine this time. You're not using any type of sweet material. You can't be. Oh, you're driving. No, no, no. You don't have I can't hear you though. Unfortunately for you, much sweeter. But, but much stronger. Plus, much stronger. This is 14% of alcohol. The wow. That we've had. And what, what, what's the reason for that? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why is usually there more alcohol? Sounds like more sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. More sweetness. Yeah. So, more sweetness for the <laughs> so the sweeter the grape is usually, the stronger the wine is going to be. Here we have mix of two. Saperavi that we tried already in uh, one, two, three varieties. And Muscat. Have you heard about it? Yeah. Really popular source of the grape. Not named after capital of Homa, usually in many cases, recognizing the name. By that way, this is a popular sort of the grape that has different. Time for rose. This is rose rose. rose, rose. <laughs> this is a mix of two grapes, uh, white and red. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. And that's like this is one of the easiest ways how you're able to make rose. Yeah. Which one? This one is 14. This is 12 percent of alcohol. Mm -hmm. So let's try. Yeah, this is 12 percent of alcohol. Thank you. Two glasses so, 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 of the semi sweets left for the last. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of this were from Kajeti, still from the region where we are right now. That's why I told you most of the wines come from here, from this place. Yeah. And, and from Kajeti. Special. Yeah. So region, region of Kajeti. Yeah. So this is this is already totally different region. 
which is called Lech Humi. This, do you see the purple little spot there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the region of Lech Humi, uh, one of the smallest regions in Georgia, where unfortunately the most Lech, interesting Lech. and mm -hmm. rarest sorts of the grapes grow. This is the third sort of the grape, which is written under the purple title, Tsonika Uri that is sometimes used as the dry wine, sometimes used as a semi-sweet, and this is the semi-sweet variety of it. So we stop the fermentation process, same as the previous semi-sweets, in the stainless steel. This is 11% of alcohol, white uh, semi-sweet wine that we haven't tried it yet. And this is the only Georgian sort of the grape which is used for the naturally made sparkling wines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sweetest wines are usually Wine bottled in a bottle like this, uh, yeah. uh, because the size of this bottle is 375 ml, mm. yeah, nearly the half of the average standard mm. bottles. But this is not none between the three sorts that we said. This is simple semi-sweet as the previous one, uh, naturally semi-sweet, already coming from the region of uh, Raja, the spread region at the top. This is second most expensive wine that we have in Georgia. Time for dessert wine. So sweet. It's eleven percent. Thank you. Happy birthday once again. Sparkling. Brandy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>